Here, I'm going to create superficial lanes with different uh, road width and uh, uh, for different uh, lane as well for different for your left as well as right lane so the it's a normal practice uh, to define the uh, for both of the lanes so first uh, if i do it for left lane so i need to select center of uh, side of center line left inside inside edge offset zero width uh, whatever the width is of our template and the normal cross slope should be given here as uh, like um, minus 2.5 percent okay so minus sign is denoting that it is uh, downwards and once i am done with this i need to do it again for the right lane so create superficial lanes again and since i have earlier typed the lt lane now i will i will type the right lane in the name so this procedure you are going to adopt when you are not getting your superficial lanes as soon as you create your superficial section so this is uh, basically your manual method by which you can create your superlation lane and get those values. So after, this is only the procedure for creating your superlation lanes. Now if you want to uh, get those values, so under the calculate, you have the option for calculate superlation. So as soon as you click this, so when you have created your like uh, created your superlation manually and now you need to assign um, it to corridor so you can even select your rule file again e selection l selection as well as design and speed so according to this you are going to get your superlation values one more option is there like uh, assign to corridor so this option is important uh, to get your uh, section super elevated and to get a view in 3d uh, like uh, sorry not in 3d in the dynamic cross section view so the relevance of this option is linked with your template so if in template if i go again when you create template so if i go to two lanes i need to check i need to give flexibility like i have given the flexibility to the point uh, in horizontal while creating my transitions so basically super relation transitions are basically kind of point control methods in which we are going to uh, give some flexibility to our points that do not follow the constraints which are uh, in the uh, template but uh, follow this as per need so i'm going i'm going to assign this point as a governing point for super elevation so how can we do that i need to simply double check over it double click and uh, make sure that super elevation flag is checked on so this check mark should be present on all those points which are taking participant or which are basically participating mm -hmm. in the super elevation so i need to and check mark this on yeah yes roshan please and ajitisha there's also a question you can show them the shoulder overall as well roll over there's one question are we need to apply superlation lanes to pavement and shoulder separately there are two ways to do it first yes you can do it separately as well if you want or second thing is you can use this rollover values which will automatically adjust those for the shoulders as well you see over here on the constraint one slope roll for values okay Jitesh, you can go ahead okay So, okay, so since uh, this uh, end of payment uh, was participating in my true elevation, so I should keep the superlation flag checked on as well as even the center origin point. So I need to check because this is my crown about which uh, my other points are going to rotate. So I need to uh, check whether the superlation flag check mark has been placed over it or not. So within this template, there are so three super elevation points which I am defining. One is the crown, and one is the end of payment left, as well as the uh, edge of payment right. So let us check this also. So yes, there is a check mark on super elevation flag. So I need to close it. So once it is done, so when you are going to calculate and assign to corridor, so 
this all uh, method i am telling suppose you are not get, going to get the superposition values as uh, as required so how to get them and how to assign superposition properly to your corridor you need to select this option assign to corridor and it is asking locate super first superposition section so basically as i told before the superposition section is the outer green boundary which is enclosing and casing each and everything your corridor templates as well as your center line so i will select this and what it is asking next locate next super elevation section because uh, there may be possibility you might have uh, different super relation sections within a single your uh, design so since i don't have next so i will simply right click so it is asking reset to complete means right click and now locate your corridor locate corridor means select any of the handle of the corridor so this window is very important uh, here you are going to uh, get those lanes points with respect to your templates so because i have in my template i have defined those points to actually participate in the super elevation so if i see uh, this is my super elevation lane i am getting two lanes which is center line to and uh, edge of pavement left for this super elevation point should be so th these three points are only coming which on which my superposition flag was checked on the so superposition point is eopl pivot point should be my cl and again the, for the next lane superposition point should be eopr and the pivot point will be obviously cl and the start and end change you can type in manually uh, so start if i want to like 0 plus 0 0 and since you don't remember the stop station uh, so you can type any higher value so if, if i type 10 so it will automatically take your end change and if in the priority window you need to type one and one again so both are on priority and whenever you are going to click ok then uh, your super revision section will be completely assigned to your corridor since uh, within in my case it has been already assigned so i'm not going to click ok it's uh, no it's of no use so this this procedure is basically done when you are not getting your section super elevated when you are cutting your cross section or dynamic section when you are taking a view in the dynamic section so this can be done and this is that's why this is very important because we are telling uh, ORD like uh, which is my super elevation point and how it should rotate about which pivot point so let us take have a um, have a quick look over the uh, dynamic cross section view at any curve location so under the review tab only in the dynamic so you have two options open, open cross section view or locate station by data point so locate corridor or alignment so i will just simply select my corridor and it is asking to select or open view so i can select any of the viewport and uh, if i traverse along So the, if you can see in the horizontal uh, plan, viewport number one, there's a vertical line, which is going along uh, with my changes as soon as I'm traversing. And in this view number view five, you can see how my left edge of pavement is super elevated with respect to crown as well as your, with respect to crown only because my pivot point is my crown. So this confirms that my super elevation has been applied successfully and I am good to go along with your uh, corridor quantity reports or uh, any other work or even the drying production. You can even type in the chinich uh, manually for which you want uh, the exact uh, dynamic cross section view. And if I place a temporary dimension, you can simply place a, uh, some temporary dimensions also by simply right clicking and you can see place horizontal temporary dimension. So 
I'm going to play this.